Hello, so I've uh, ventured down to the allotment and um, it's May so the weather's been a bit hit and miss, we've had a lot of rain so it's been a bit hard to get down to the allotment to do much and we've had quite a lot of uh, late frosts so not too much has been planted at the moment so I've thought to give you just a little tour of where we are and um, I've had the allotment for probably about two or three years now um, it's been slow progress um, but just thought I'd show you what's happening at the moment so this is the broad beans and runner beans so we planted those about uh, a week ago um, so they're coming good um, we've got leeks that we had from last year um, that we didn't thin out um, so with allotments everything's a learning curve and we knew we needed to do it but we just didn't get down and do it so we've kind of eaten a few of them but they're a bit more like a spring onion to be honest um, I've got some potatoes that are in bags um, I've got some to go in a plot which I'll show you but um, I'm waiting on a bit of a development on that one so until then I've got some in the bags um, I planted these a while ago but brassicas are an absolute nightmare down here and um, they seem to get eaten alive so I'm a bit in two minds as to whether we'll bother with them in the future um, even with like this netting on that's trying to stop things getting in it's it's just impossible um, so not sure what to do about that one um, and then this bed here so last week I planted the onion and garlic and um, this is where we had the three sisters last year so that's that was all cleared out um, and dug back over and um, so yeah we're doing a bit of a crop rotation so obviously you move things into different beds as you go um, the plan is for here we used to have runner beans and broad beans there um, so this year I'm going to do um, an arch which I shall probably do tomorrow so I'll do a little video on that one um, and I'm going to grow some pumpkins and um, well, some squash or uh, cucumbers or something up there so I'm going to create an arch let's do a little walkway the kids have made their den there so you can see so that needs to go down at some point uh, the seed to sweater um, I kind of just left and I've got so much woad here and um, so that should hopefully see for a bit of yarn dyeing later in the year and um, also the hollyhock is coming back under there and I've got uh, my peony just come around here and um, so my peony is coming there unfortunately the other week one got broken I don't know what broke it and uh, so that one's broke off which is quite sad um, but I still have another one that's intact um, I have got some dahlias that I've planted in here as well so hopefully they'll come up at some point and the tulips obviously are out of season now so I need to take them and sort those and then this year we've tried um, asparagus so I've got a few more uh, roots that need to go in so once I clear the kids den um, I'm going to put those in there um, but look this is just in a couple of weeks that's crazy obviously for this is the first year so we can't really harvest this year um, what we'll do is I think it's probably about the second or third year that you start to get a harvest from it so I'll just have to keep cutting it back and to bring it on again and take you up the plot um, so remember we've got a couple of black currant bushes which uh, we weren't sure whether to keep but this bit just all needs sorting out um, and this is where we're going to have our potatoes so we've got some we've been doing an extension at the house um, and we've got the old roof tiles off the old part of the kitchen so we're going to actually recycle those you can just probably see them over there and we're going to make those into our potato bed so I'm just waiting for my other half to come down and kind of finish that bit that he started and we're going to dig it all over because my potatoes are cheated and they're absolutely desperate to go in and um, this bit all needs digging out again I started to dig it had raspberry bushes in which have been trying to dig out all the roots and the black briz that keep coming wild um, and again I tried to dig this out in just a couple of weeks of it rain it's gone a bit wild again but this is where the strawberries are so I need to tidy up this patch um, never ending jobs and a lot and that's the thing you think you can't combat one and then another load of weeds come up or something happens so but just in a couple of weeks the strawberries starting to go quite quite good we've just kind of left them wild um, which is quite nice and we normally get a good crop so we'll see this year how well it does 
because um, I did clear quite a bit of this out the other week but even though you wouldn't know it to look at it um, and then as I've always said stage three is this bit uh, we burnt a lot of the old debris we had in the incinerator the other week um, so that's gone but you can see all the stuff that needs sorting I've got some pallets so on this bit here the plan is to which is our borderline is to have the compost section so in an ideal world I want to get that sorted this year um, and we got rid of a lot of the old stuff that we inherited as well uh, there was a lot of old scrap really so we've reused a lot of it where we can and um, some of it we just couldn't so this all needs kind of digging over and sorting out um, but compared to where we were it's looking a lot better